Hey guys, I'm Lauren Bailey from The Bailey Body and I am making a homemade chili today and I'm using my crock pot to do it to make it really simple and easy. So I'm starting with two pounds of bison meat. Normally if you're gonna do chili in a crock pot, people will recommend that you cook your meat first and then drain off some of the fat. Uh, but bison is really, really lean so I'm not even gonna bother doing that. I'm gonna put it raw straight into the crock pot. This just helps you skip a step as well so that it's easier to do when you're busy during the week. Then I've got one whole uh, yellow onion chopped and I'm going to add that. Then I've got one whole green bell pepper already diced up. Then I'm going to add, these are crushed tomatoes, fire roasted organic. I got these, um, I would have just used fresh tomatoes and I do have some fresh tomatoes I'll add but I wanted to get the fire roasted flavor so I'm going to use these as well, throw that in there. And I'm just mixing everything up together really well as I add the ingredients because I want it to be blended up really well when it starts to cook. Then I'm going to add bacon. This is one whole pack of bacon that I pre-cooked and then I just cut it up into little diced up pieces. Then I've got our beans. I have one can of New Orleans style red kidney beans and then one can of chili beans. I've got one jalapeno seeded and diced and about five cloves of garlic. Now I'm just gonna use my fresh tomatoes that I chopped up and I did drain them a little bit. I didn't take much time to like squeeze the water out of them, but I just put them over a strainer and shook some of the excess liquid out. This was about two of the kind of smaller cluster tomatoes. One small can of tomato paste. And now we're going to start adding our spices in. I'm using Louisiana hot sauce, and I'm not going to measure this. I'm just going to shake it into it. Worcestershire sauce, I've got the low sodium kind, and again, I'm not really going to measure this one, but just a, maybe a couple tablespoons. Now I'm adding some ground cumin, and I'll do about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of this. I have another seasoning that I'm going to use as well that has some cumin in it as a mixture, so I'm not going to add quite as much, but if you don't have that other seasoning, then you can go to about one and a half tablespoons one to two tablespoons of ground red pepper or you can use like crushed red pepper flakes if you have it two tablespoons of chili powder one teaspoon of a salt free Italian seasoning about a tablespoon of, this is a Moroccan seasoning and it kind of has a combination of some of the spices that we've already used and some that we would use in addition to this um, if we didn't have this. So things like cinnamon, cumin, ginger, uh, coriander, black pepper, red pepper, paprika. So this is a really good blend. And that's it. Now I'm just going to mix it all up really good. Then I'm going to put it on low heat for about six hours. Or if you're in a hurry, you can cook it on high for about half that time. It seems like a lot of ingredients, but you can even cut it down a little bit if you want to. It's really not that bad. It just seems like a lot when I'm adding it all in. But it's basically just pepper, onion, beans, meat, and your seasonings. So you have a quick and easy meal that you can make healthier than any version that you could buy at the store. Give it a try. Let us know how you like it. Leave us a comment below and if you have a favorite chili recipe um, or maybe an ingredient or something that you do differently, leave us a comment and let us know what it is and maybe we'll try that in our recipe next time. And of course, don't forget to click the link in this video to subscribe and check in the comments or the description box below this video and we'll also post links to everywhere else that you can find us, our Facebook page. Uh, we're on Pinterest now. We'll have all of our recipes with their pictures on Pinterest and Instagram, uh, Facebook, all that stuff. So check out the links in the description box below to get all that and check out our blog at www.thebaileybody.com. <laughs>